Hi everyone, the Likins. Um, you're welcome back to my channel on Nikki's Thoughts. Um, so if you're new here, my name is Nikki. I I the Southern Island. I film about anything that come to my thoughts, um, as the as the name implies, Nikki's Thoughts. Um, so recently, I brought a, a topic here um, that she wouldn't have it if you don't watch the um, the that clip. Click on the channel. I'll be able to watch the um but she wouldn't have it and that's um a, a topic about uh, um, um gender cleanliness not in inequality anyway we have here a visitor here and this is my daughter not my biological daughter but my daughter you know in africa i know she's a daughter she's dear to me and she's very close and she's a daughter to my a friend of my um of my daughter Okay, and so so and this argument we brought this argument outside there and we we're discussing it you know and then we decided to bring it back here to be able to hear our own opinion um, from the youth side um, concerning the issue so we're just going to allow her to introduce ourselves now um, what's your name Rob? my name is Javier Jolari I'm 17 years she just completes her living start and then she's going to a um, university in September by the grace of God and so it's good to have you here, Lord. And so on this channel, we're just going to look into, you know, there was a discussion there the other day and why we were talking. By the way, she's not the one um, that we had that chat or that talk. Okay, but um, yeah, she's going to represent the whole clan, clan of the youth to discuss, um, especially the, uh, in her own perspective. And then from girls or from female um, perspective so and the last thing i was talking um, about do you do you i uh, do you believe that women um this is not about discipline or okay men as i believe in men must do something must be able to look after themselves i believe that men must we we should train women men especially because they are the leader when a man is trained to raise a good family um so yeah i believe in that area that you should look after men you should train men in a certain way and then what i mean they should be nurtured and groomed so that they're going to be a perfect man in the future and then because perfect man make a perfect marriage market perfect marriage make a perfect family and perfect family make a perfect society so i believe in that but when we're talking about the female hygiene and men and gene because the argument went to that and uh, goes to that area or went to that area. After men, the women should take conditions and looking after the hygiene, you know, for many reasons that a few has been mentioned. What should we take about that law? Um, I think that both men and women should both be held to the same standards of hygiene. We should all take hygiene seriously, but the way that you say that women should take it more seriously, I believe we already are taking it more seriously as men that aren't, which is why they get so many illnesses like HIV and AIDS and stuff. So women are already holding themselves to higher standards of hygiene because of what society tells them to do. But that same so societal pressure should be pushed on men as well as it is on women because it's affecting them negatively too. But because they're men, they think that they don't have to be clean because it's not a masculine thing to do. Yeah, that's my take on it. Okay, like I said, that I believe that men should look after the thing. I'm, I'm not, I'm not taking, I'm not erasing the fact that men must look after themselves. I believe in that as well, and and then and the men has to be taken. Um, um, they must be trained. They must be groomed. Like I said, happy. Um, man make a happy family or a trained where the Sydney man make a happy family, happy marriage, happy marriage, make a happy family, happy family make a society. I believe that you know, um, in as much that that responsibility is rest on men to make sure that they groom a home to be a perfect home. I think women should be groomed in another way. Um, they, uh, I mean that women too have to look on some certain things that will make that perfection for to to blend 
both of them to blame. Do you understand what I mean? So, and, and then I, in the area of the hygiene now, I meant, I, I, I understand where you're coming from, but my argument is men, women, we, we, we have a lot to look after when it comes to that. I'm a hundred percent um, a, a fan of grooming a man to be a perfect man. But there's a certain area that you will not hear, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a certain area that you will not think about, um, that you won't give to men because the way you're being nurtured, the way you, a woman is being wired. Yeah, I'm all for teaching men how to like take care of themselves and all. But you already know said that women should be more clean than men. That so they should not not be more clean than men. To take it more to be a lifestyle. Hygiene should be a lifestyle. To a lifestyle, of women. a lifestyle of women. It should be a lifestyle to men as well. But women should take more um more hygiene, more serious to themselves. Not because of there's a competition between men and women, because of the role that women play naturally in the world, because of our role. Yeah, that still all comes down. I know he says all about gender inequality or anything, but it still ties up with them. It still comes down to it because of how in the past women were seen to only have jobs in the household, like cleaning and taking care of children. The whole cleaning side of having hygiene is like. All women care about is just to keep herself clean, have no other purpose to serve but to like. I do not understand that. In back in the olden days, women's only job were to just clean the household and take care of children. So that kind of ties into you thinking that women have to. No, take that's it. Okay. Does right. men carry pregnancy? No. Okay. So, and when you're looking at it from that angle, does men do menstruation? Okay. If somebody has, if you're menstruating one day or two days, and if you don't clean after yourself, what happens to the person that doesn't clean after yourself? If you, if you're menstruating, okay, you might have infection. What about smell? Is it by smell? Okay, but men also do have to look up that they do have their own monthly pain. They do as well. Okay. But in a case, I personally, my nose is so sensitive when I was in secondary school. If somebody is menstruating and doesn't clean after themselves, it's dangerous. Okay? And this has nothing to do with equality here. Yeah. Or, oh, men should be like this. Okay? So if somebody is on a monthly cycle and you're not looking after your hygiene, and then are you, are you so what are you going to say? Uh, is it, is it important? Is it harmful for a woman to drop all the things on the floor? I'm just talking in a general note now, okay? So, um, drop your hygiene on the floor, drop your pad on the floor, drop your pants there, do not watch or do not do, I'm just saying, okay? I'm just looking in the general terms, okay? Why I think it's very important for women or for females to be more hygiene conscious. If I may put it that way, because of this of certain ways that women have been wired. Yeah. Like uh, regarding menstruation, yeah, women should keep like hygiene. They keep the hygiene of father on their menstruation, but it's it will still be very hard for us to get a bacterial infection while menstruating because we do have mucus slimes to prevent us from gaining any harmful bacteria that would make us ill. And also in pregnancy, when the woman's having the child, you have the amniotic sac that prevents any diseases from entering the child as well. So like our body already has everything backed up. Okay. Like we still have to keep hygiene in, but in case we're doing, we still have that extra layer of protection that'll stop us from getting any serious That's this thing, okay, from serious possibility. Yeah, there is a possibility, yeah. okay. But that, that's one area. Another area that we want to look into is what about the hygiene aspect of it? Okay, the hygiene one is diseases that one can get. But if you don't look after yourself when you're menstruating and the smells, that could be smells can actually become permanent in somebody's life. That when you step into a place because you are menstruating and you don't look after yourself, that smell stays. So when you are when you are in place, when people see 
they can say that they can notice your odor because everybody has odor. Everyone that God created in the Bible had odor. For instance, my son, there was a particular day that we he went, we were going to church and he went for football and he, and he just came back and he did not watch. The car was smelling because of the smell. Okay. And I asked him, did you watch yourself before you get into the car? I'd rather say to you, nightly before people outside start talking to you, they won't even say to you to your face, but they will be rude. They will be talking about you at the back. Don't you see that? Mm, that smells. That smells. Okay. And then because the woman has a role, I just want us to be hygiene conscious. That's me here. Because you, your body produces. We are the one to carry a baby in our tummy. We don't say that what this thing to do that. But it's one of being, being conscious. Your hygiene should be as much, as many, and as important as everything. I walked in into a, a place sometimes ago, a while ago, maybe two, three years ago, and I went the all female, um, female living in the house, and I can smell, I can smell like the mess, the monthly cycle is going on there, and I wanted to use the toilet. I enter the toilet and I see pan and basin on the floor. Now, in this worldly, wicked world that we have, if you don't take hygiene, very important, somebody can pick. When I was growing up, you know, when we are menstruating, our parents, you know, thank God you mentioned that, they make sure that we tie the thing up properly and throw it away. Some people, some parents, those days when we're growing up, they will make sure they burn their menstrual circle, they burn it so that. The wicked people we're not going to use it against them when you're when you're when you're going back to culture now they're going back to culture they, they won't be used that against them and then even now you don't know who is who there was a particular day that i went to somebody's house um a group of children um girls living in the house i sat on a chair a chair that i sat being a spiritual person who i am a minister of god I feel there's something in the house and I can set it come over to my head sitting on that chair and I have to start breaking and start breaking breaking I, I don't want to take it to a spiritual level but while I drop it here it, can you imagine if somebody um, a, a, a girl is not looking after her hygiene properly living in such a house where you just drop your pants and everything and there's someone in the house that is not the same person you think the person is. Do you understand what I mean? Maybe the person has something that you might know you cannot see. Everybody either black or white. They all they all think. But I sat on that chair and I, my head was still swelling. So I know ooh, something is here. I break the thing. Okay? But in a situation where you're living in such house and your hygiene is not as important to you and you drop your pan, you don't know who does this to me. And just when they touch that pan, or just take that pan, or take that pan, it goes along because you're looking at the future. Do you understand what I mean? So when I when I'm talking about hygiene, I'm not relating the hygiene to uh, a man per se. I just that the way we be wired as a woman. If you don't look at some every area of our lives, it can actually affect the way, affect the future. Or know you won't even know where the problem starts from. You might even know that oh, it's because this is what I did or just that caused this thing. You might even not know because you're just behaving as normal as possible. Mm -hmm. So I believe, to me, I guess I so much agree with you that men should take hygiene very very important. But I think women should be more conscious of their hygiene. Because at the end of the day, women carry pregnancy. Okay? And then I, I know that some, you mentioned that what if, the, oh, I'm not the only one that has the pregnancy. The man with both of us are the one that have the pregnancy. So we should be stuck in it. What if the man walk away from your, you or walk away from the child? Can you walk away with that child and leave that child on the floor? So the women, men can walk away. Either we want to believe it or not. But a, a woman that carried that baby for nine months will not want to walk away. But if hygiene is not as important or it's not a life cycle, it's important.
the child would suffer from lack of hygiene from the woman. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? That's why I believe that hygiene, I'm not relating it to men. There's some, even as we're talking of gender, there's some area that men have to look after. That I will not even say women should do that. It's a work of men. And that's the way the world is being wired. That's the way we're being wired. Even though we're looking at things as equality or not equality, there's some aspect that men have to look after. And if men look after that, life is going to be easier. And there's some aspect that women have to look after. And if they do their part, life is going to be easier. And we will have a perfect or good, you know, or fair society. Okay. And what do you say to that? Um. I, I agree with the whole pregnancy analogy, but from the administration part, like the smells and everything, we like it's wired in us to menstruate. We have to menstruate when we have kids, and along with like the, all the blood being released, we're obviously going to smell. And yes, up to us to keep our hygiene correctly so that we don't smell. But at the end of the day, we still can't help it. When you're on your menstruation, you feel tired all the time. Maybe someone can't get up to shower because they're too much pain. So obviously they're going to smell, but um, a man, let's say he went out to go to do sports, he chose to go out and do soccer, so therefore it's his obligation to go and shower to get rid of that smell of a menstruation. It's gonna, that's a natural thing, it happens naturally. So I know women smell the menstruation and they, they can clean and keep identical, it's the same thing for men, except that they control whether they smell or not, but women can for the menstruation. But if we're not talking about menstruation, then yeah, the woman has to stay clean as well as a man should as well. Okay, I have to talk you. I kind of disagree with you in that area. I totally disagree. Okay, I am here now. I'm 50, uh, on my 50s. So definitely, I have gone through menstruations. Okay, so I'm not talking from a man perspective now. I'm talking from a woman perspective. I'm not talking from a woman perspective. I'm coming, I'm talking from somebody that has gone through that as well you know at the moment i'm not menstruating okay but when i was menstruating you hardly notice that i'm menstruating and then there's nothing and my first week when i'm menstruating in when my when i started menstruating in secondary school it's so hard i know maybe some of my friends they we went to university or secondary school together they might be watching this the school bus have to carry me home because the pain is always so much unbearable for me. But that doesn't mean that when I get home, because I have so much pain, I should not clean after myself. I should not look after myself. Because I'm using that as an example, not to bath. No, no. You have to, it's the most important thing to make sure you take and clean after yourself. And when you're menstruating, so in that area, I'm, 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 we, we, that's what you, you know, uh, we, we agree to disagree here, okay? But in the area of your menstruating or women menstruating, women getting pregnancy, it's very essential that you keep your hygiene in place. Yeah. You look after yourself. There's nothing like, if you cannot cope with hygiene, if you cannot cope with menstruation, why are you going to cope when you have a baby? Because baby is a different ball game, you know? And then you will start, if you're like me, that's stuck in Europe to have a baby. When I was in secondary school, university, I thought I'm going to be in Africa, whereby we have aunties and uncles and grandmas to look after my child. But when I came here, I was on my own. So when I have the baby, there's no one to look after the baby. And I'm, I'm so. I have pain, but still I have to look after the baby. Okay, if I don't have hygiene in place in my head, I will suffer from smell, the child will suffer from smell, and then it's going to affect me emotionally, psychologically, and everything, because there is something they call postnatal depression, and that can lead to that. So there's a wider scope to this than the way you guys, you are looking at it. In as much as I believe that this is a or in the area of your menstruation practice makes perfect. When you make something your um your lifestyle, it becomes natural to you. Mm -hmm. Nobody tells you before you eat. Nobody tells you before you do. Why this not and nobody tells you because it's lifestyle. 
when you make that your lifestyle, make life easier. And you don't know where you're going to end up in the future. Some people, I am lucky that I have, when I was having pregnancy, I, um, I have them normal. Some people do CS, and there was nobody to look after them, especially when you are here. So there's so many things to put into consideration. So I just wanted to say your final word here before I know your final and comment. Let's learn from you as well. Should we, should women, or female, or female, should be conscious of, us, of their hygiene? It comes from here. If hygiene is not in place, so many times it's, it's depression. It can lead to so many things. All of us, we, had, we are in need. There's going to be a time in your life that things might not work out really, really well. And then, like you said, that there might be a situation whereby you can't do what you cannot stay in that state because emotionally, psychologically, it's going to affect your future world being. Yeah, but being a hygiene can also be because of depression as they're linked. Yeah, I know. This cost so far. What's your intake now? Uh, I think that I agree with you, you know, and I start with comments that, that women should be more conscious about their hygiene because there's so many different areas that can affect them badly. And I know that there are like scientific proofs and whatnot about hygiene and women, but we need to learn from them out of experience as well. I know that what they're saying is correct and it's because something that they have knowledge on. So it's up to us now with that knowledge to take it into our own daily lifestyle and to apply it to our hygiene more consciously from now on. Okay. It's the consciousness of women because it can actually affect us in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And this is not um, because you don't want to teach your, your son. There's some area that either hygiene and hygiene that's actually affected male more than female here. But this this context there we're talking about hygiene okay and then there's so many ways it can actually affect children and so well, we might talk unconsciously or consciously if you acted if you take your um, hygiene unconsciously it might affect your conscious future mm -hmm. unknowing to you and you won't even know where the problem start from you will know that because you were so unconscious with your hygiene and that's met here like you said in different ways um, so, um, to everyone out there, thank you for being part of this. We, I think we'll be able to iron, uh, we talked about things. I quite agree with the scientific aspect where you bring it, when it, where she brings it. I quite believe that men should learn hygiene as well, all female and, and male, that everybody should look after their hygiene. So men should learn to wash their plates, men should learn to clean after their mess. It shouldn't be a woman's role to clean the mess, to clean the plate, to clean after your mess in the toilet. Because what brought this on, this topic on is the toilet issue, whereby somebody is using toilet all the time and it's not cleaning the toilet. And this person came in and then I just like, I can't believe that you can actually um, use that toilet without cleaning it. And somebody has been said, that, but uh, somebody has kept that dirty, but I'm not, I'm going to use it. It's not about the person that has kept it. I'm going to use it before I use it. I will have to clean it. Even if I'm going to deal with that person. Oh, yes, I have any other option. Then I will leave it. Then I'll go and use other option. But if I don't have any option, I just have to take up the courage, either I like it or not, to clean it before I put myself in there. That's just the, um, the, the how the argument actually started here. And that's being conscious, making it a lifestyle making it a lifestyle as we go up because it will make life so much stressless for us in the future. Um, makes us to be, um, yes, let me use the word stressless, and it's going to improve our well-being as a woman in the future. So until you hear our voice again, thank you so much for tuning in here. Thank you. Let's let me thank uh, my, my dear daughter here, Sammy. She's so full of wisdom and she has given us some of the wisdom I know she, I learned a lot from her, and I know she learns from you. Until you have a voice again, I'm going to say good morning. I mean, bye for now. Please subscribe, press the bell, um, the button, and notification, and leave your comments. Let's learn from you as well. Until you hear from us, bye for now. God bless you. You want to say bye today? Bye bye, everyone. What do you want to tell them? How to subscribe?
Please subscribe, like, and comment down below. Thank you.